I'll teach you how to replace this real background with a fake AI background. Okay, so we are in DaVinci Resolve 19 Studio, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my node window and hit Shift S to create a new node. And I'm gonna click on my new node, and then I'm gonna come down to Magic Mask, and we're going to mask out our subject here, and we're also going to mask out this couch that she's sitting on. I'm gonna come over to my settings here, and I'm going to click Better, and then for a fine edge, I'm gonna turn that down to about 16. All right, and then I'm gonna come up to my window here, and we're gonna mask out our subject. Okay, and then I'm gonna come up to my top controls here, and then hit Highlight. Now let's come back down and we're going to click track backwards and forwards. Okay, so let's make it full screen and take a look to see if there's any artifacts. It's looking like it's not taking out that little spot in her hair there. So let's go ahead and add a uh, negative fill to that. So we'll come down here to our negative picker here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the beginning of our frame here and then we'll track forwards. Okay, so now let's go ahead and export our original image here. So we'll go back to our first frame here. And let's click on this node here. And let's right click on the image and click grab still. And I'm gonna right click on this still that we created and then go to export. And I'll just save it as a, a JPEG file. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Adobe Photoshop 2025. Okay, so now we are in Adobe Photoshop 2025, and what we're going to do is we are going to generate a new background here. And we're doing it in Photoshop versus other AI software because in Photoshop, what it's going to do is it's going to take the lighting that's on our subject and make sure the background mimics the lighting. So that way our subject looks like they're actually in the background because I feel like lighting is kind of the biggest giveaway when something doesn't feel quite right in a background. And so I feel like Photoshop does a great job of like making sure the background, the backgrounds match the lighting on the subject when you do the generative fill. So first things first, we're gonna come up to our quick selection tool up here. And we're just gonna do a quick selection at, around our chair here, and then around our subject. And this doesn't have to be totally perfect here. Okay, so now we're going to invert our mask, and then we're gonna to go to generative fill. And we're gonna type in subway. And you can type in whatever background you want. I'm just doing this as an example. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and select my layers here. And on mine there's three, but on yours there should just be two. And I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna hit merge layers. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a rough selection using this uh, polygonal lasso tool. So we're just gonna do a quick little outline around. Okay, and then we're gonna to go to generative fill and we're going to type in remove. And it might take a few iterations on this one as well, but basically we're trying to remove our subject from the background now. Okay, next we're gonna come up and we're gonna save our project. So we're gonna to go to file, export, export as. Okay, you're gonna hit export and save the image and then next we're gonna go over to runway. Okay, so when you come to runway, you'll see a screen like this. So you'll hit get started. And if you don't have a, an account, it's gonna prompt you to make a, a user account. You can just use your Gmail or your other email and then create a password and then you'll be in to use this program. And right off the back, they do give you some free credits. So this was created on a free account. I'll be honest with you, I actually made a part of this before and after video, um, before I recorded the tutorial. And so I'm going to show you what I generated and then I'll show you how I did it. So basically if I were new in this program, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to tools and then click on start a session. So I'll open up a session that I've already done here. Okay, so then I'm gonna come over to image here and then I'm gonna click on select asset. And then I'm gonna click on drag and drop image or video. So I'll click on that. And then I'm going to go and select the clip that I had. So I've already selected mine. So once I upload it, I'm gonna click on the image. And then I'm going to come over to this camera tab here. And then for camera, this is really important. I'm going to click on static camera. And then I'm gonna come down here and then this shouldn't say upgrade, it'll say probably generate on yours. So then I'm gonna click generate. And then you'll see here what it's done is it's taken our image 
and it's turned it into a video. And then what I'll do next is I'll go here and click download. Okay, and then I'll download this and then I'm going to import it back into DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so now we're going to restructure what's called our node tree here. So um, I know that might sound confusing to some of you that are beginners in DaVinci, but I'll walk you through it very carefully here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover my mouse over my node window here, and then I'm gonna hit Shift S to create a new node. And now you'll notice here, you know, these, it's like these nodes are attached to these little strings here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to come over and I'm going to delete these strings here on my nodes. So I'm just gonna delete them on these different nodes, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create what's called a, uh, a layer node. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to add node, add, add layer mixer. And the next one I'm going to do is where this little green square is, I'm going to drag, hold my mouse button down and then drag a new string over to where this green triangle is and make sure it's on the bottom one and then I'm going to take this green square here and I'm going to drag it on top of this uh, to this triangle up here. And what's cool about DaVinci is you can actually create multiple layers here. I know it only shows two, but I could create another layer here and add it in, and even another one and add it in as well. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and attach, attach strings to this first node here and then we'll attach a string from this square to this triangle up here, and then from the same square to this triangle down here. Okay, and then next what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to effects here, and then we're gonna type in match, and we're gonna select this match move, and we're gonna drag it onto our bottom node layer here. Okay, so you'll see this node changed a little bit, it has some more attachments here. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to Media Pool up here, and then we're gonna take our clip that we generated in Runway. We're gonna drag it, and we're gonna drop it onto our node, node window here. And then I'm gonna take this green square and attach it to that green triangle. And then next I'm gonna come over here, and we're gonna do some tracking. What we wanna do is just pick two contrast points here. So I'll go ahead and pick spot here so I'll just click on this part of the screen to track that and then I'll go ahead and do this door handle here as another tracking point and we'll just do two for now and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit track forwards here and you want to make sure that your clip is to, to the very beginning here and one other thing to note too is you can actually adjust the size of how of where it's going to search for the track and also the size of the track as well. Make it bigger or a lot smaller depending on what you're trying to track there. And then you can do the same here. Okay, so now we will track forwards. Okay, and then next what we're going to do is we're going to come up to where it says show controls for tracking. We're gonna to toggle down and go to compositing. So the next I'm just gonna create a final node here. So I'm gonna hit Command S on my keyboard as I hover over the, the node window. Okay, so I'm gonna create one final node here. So let's go ahead and right click this time and go to add node, add corrector. And let's go ahead and attach this to the layer node and then we'll attach it after the layer node here. And you can already see here, it's, it's coming together pretty well. Okay, so that almost looks believable to me, but we can see a lot of ghosting going on up here. So let's come back to our magic mask layer and let's go down to our magic mask window and tool here. And then let's go down to our settings and we're just gonna turn down our into out ratio. And if we actually wanna see that background, we can come up here and toggle this highlight thing off and we can work on this ghosting around her head. So if I come down here to the into out ratio, we can turn that down. And now our ghosting's gone. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at it again. Okay, so that's looking believable, but you'll see in the corner here, we kind of lose our image here in the corner. 
So we want to adjust that. So let's go to where that spot is in our frame. So just go to the end here. And then let's go back to our match move layer. So this one down here, our background layer. And then, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to show controls for positioning. And you'll see here there's this grid, and we can actually adjust the position of our clips. So let's go ahead and just extend it out a little bit, extend it up a little bit here, extend it out a little bit. Okay, so let's go back to our match move here, and we'll change it back to compositing. Now let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, so there you have it. That is how you do a video background replacement.